morning dear students welcome to science i'm miss kumud and you know that we have already started with the lesson environmental balance yes now let us proceed further now do you know how is the surrounding of your school have you seen so beautiful it is yes we know that the surroundings of the uh, school is very beautiful whereas when we go to a place like market there is lot of things which makes that environment that surrounding very dirty now what exactly is meant by surrounding by surrounding we mean that the area around us or around some location i will repeat by surrounding we mean the area around us or around some location now if you see the surroundings in the village is bigger as compared to our homes or maybe school now in the surroundings we find you no know, animals we find some plants we find air we find soil water sun all these are related to life now the surroundings and the conditions in those surroundings which affect the life of the organism there are together called as environment i repeat the surroundings and the conditions in those surroundings which are affect affecting the life of the organism there are together called as environment i hope so you have understood what is meant by environment environment is nothing but surrounding as well as the conditions that means air water soil all these are conditions in that surroundings okay uh, which are affecting the life of all the living organisms is called as environment now what does this environment include it includes living things as well as air water land sunlight all these are also called as components of the environment even we the human beings are also component of the environment when we uh, see living things and non living things are all dependent on each other there is a lot of give and take or interaction between them now what does this mean give and take uh, or interaction between them that means we all are dependent on all uh, you know living things as well as on the non living things living things are dependent on non living things non living things also dependent on the living things that means living things as you know when we respire we take in oxygen from the air and we give out in return back to air carbon dioxide we also use water for our living so that means we all uh, human beings including animals are all and plants are all dependent on the non living things or air soil water sun fine so that is why the statement here which says that there is lot of give and take or interaction between them uh, tells you about we are dependent on them now this all these relationships interrelationships are studied in the book of environmental science now let us look at some of the uh, living and non living things here or some of the things and then we can come to know what is it grasshopper a duck a car vessels coat bus grains wheel basket book a trunk of a tree rain brick stone worm chameleon fish cow sun elephant gas cylinder eagle egret snake mouse tiger water reservoir let us see now sun car bus vessels coat basket bag book wheel rain bricks stone gas cylinder and water reservoir are all called as non living things whereas grasshopper duck grains worm chameleon fish elephant trunk of a tree cow eagle 
egret, snake, mouse and tiger are all called as living things. Now, today you have learnt about what is meant by environment, what is meant by surroundings, what are the components of the environment, how are they dependent on each other or what is the interrelationship between them. Then we have also seen what are living things and what are non-living things. In the next video, you are going to learn about what is meant by a food chain. So till then students, thank you. Revise what we have learned today. Thank you very much.